Hello everybody and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2. The special transport DLC has been released, so what we're going to do today is give it a go. Now, as you'll probably know, my lorry isn't really up to uh, the job of pulling one of these uh, special loads. It just isn't really big enough or powerful enough, so what we're going to have to do is just a quick job. And it might sound boring and dull with it just being a quick job, but actually what we can do here is quite impressive. We can do some fairly long distances. Um, considering as well that I only have one or two perks for the uh, long distance driving. So, um, yeah, I think really for what we've got here, it should be pretty good. It looks like we can go from France to France, or we can go from Norway to Norway. So that's all good. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not really too uh, bothered about which one we go for. I know that most people want me to drive a Scania. It looks like a Volvo and an MAN are the two which are available to us here. So I think really we'll just go for the best price. Um, which is actually the French one. So a heat exchanger, which is 70 tons. Uh, it is 18 by 4.8 by 5 meters in size. Pretty big. Um, but yeah, let's just get this going. And we've got the beacons and we should have the um, escort as well. Right, so we'll just wait for it to load. There we go. Wow. Now I must say this is the very first time I've actually played this DLC. First time I've even seen it, actually. Bit of lag here and there. That's the team. The team are sorting things out, as you can see. That is a very impressive load. Anyway, let's get cracking. So, you're about to haul a special transport cargo. There are two escort vehicles which will lead you. Please be careful and follow their lead and suggestions in the route and visor. Special transports like this don't stop on a red signal and have the right of way in most situations. During these deliveries, checkpoints are made more often to save your current progress. Uh, avoid any possible conflict with the escort vehicles and keep your cargo between them. Uh, do not drive out of the estimated route nor to gas stations, rest stops, etc. A base speed limitations which will ensure by the uh, which are ensured by the escort vehicle front one, uh, and watch out for the overtaking traffic and other drivers on the road. Change lane maneuver. Um, so the maneuver is started by the rear escort by changing and blocking the designated lane, and then the front escort waits until the designated lane is unoccupied then it changes that to that lane too. Finally, it's then safe for a player to move into the designated lane. Right, okay, so um, seems simple. If you don't follow these rules, your special transport mission may fail. Right, okay, so I think we've just got to remember these few things and we should be fine. Watch the rear one first, then the front one, and then we move. Got it. Right, so off we go. Let's put the beacons on first, or the strobes. Get the engine started, and look at that, look at the size of that load. Now I think one thing we're going to have a problem with here is remembering how long we actually are, and that the, uh, the trailer actually does turn very tight uh, with us. So, right here, how far out do you swing? Because if I turn here, that trailer's going to swing right out. There is the first escort vehicle. You know what, I think I should probably hug the side here and go right up the kerb to ensure I don't hit that barrier over there. That is pretty tough. Wow. So the escorts are helping here. I don't think we really need to indicate at this stage because they've stopped the traffic anyway. But yet yeah, this is going to be a very responsible job. We're going to have to be uh, very careful and Although, although it probably appears that it's going to be simple with the escort stopping the traffic for us, it probably isn't, even though it seems simple. I should think it's a very tough job to do. I will indicate anyway. Um, it's a good job there's nobody there. And then, obviously we're going right here. Police have stopped the traffic there. Pretty tough, probably going a bit too fast actually. 
But once we're out of here, we should be okay. I would go in first person view, but I think I won't be able to see enough. Right, okay, first person. I can see, I can see that the uh, <laughs> the tank is actually very close to the right hand side there, to those bollards. Um, but yeah, as soon as we're out onto the main road, technically we should be okay, but then of course we've got lorries overtaking, which could cause a problem. train line here. Oh, there is a barrier there. So close. Yeah, that got through. That's good to see. Mind the traffic here. And we're off. A tram! Very nice indeed. Right, well, um, I think it's just going to be a case now following the escort vehicles and hopefully, as long as we stay vigilant, we're going to be okay. That's it. The police have done their job there. Ah. Crash barriers either side. That could be troublesome. A car with a caravan. Yes, I have spotted one. Right, come on then. Let's join the dual carriageway. We're off. We'll stick to 60. We don't really want to be going too fast. It's looking good. We're coming off up here. So again, it's going to be pretty tough with the traffic. I think the worst place, you know, is going to be traffic lights. Because if we've got a turn a tie bend and there's traffic waiting at the traffic lights, they're going to be totally blocking our way. We'll see how we go. At the moment we're okay. Go back in cab view. Now I like this though. It really is a, a totally new um, avenue to be explored on uh, ETS2. Hello! You must be part of our team, not just some happy spectators waving. Thank you again, please, for doing a good job. So far, so good. I don't like saying that, because whenever I say that, something bad happens. Like clipping one of these cars or something. That would be terrible. Very expensive. Um, okay, there is a bus there. This could be tight. Oh no, I thought we were going left there. <laughs> good job on... It's a very good job on watching the escort vehicle in front. That would have gone really badly wrong. Trying to turn this thing around or getting it round the roundabout again. If it's all the way around, that would probably be uh, a bit of a challenge. All of a sudden, 360 kilometres is going to feel like a thousand kilometres, because usually when we're just in a standard sized lorry, we can go at our normal speed, and really, we don't even have to look at what we're doing behind us. We do, but not too much. Okay, that's round. I think probably the best thing to do is keep watching the mirrors. Probably more so than in front, because in front of us we've only got the escort vehicle. Pick up speed. And now it's raining. Oh, good. Just what we wanted. Bit of rain. Probably should put some lights on, actually. Well, I certainly hope I do pass this uh, mission. I don't want to fail it. It would be very embarrassing, actually, if I failed my very first special transport mission. It's coming down fast. I 
I should think, actually, it's harder if we own the lorry. Because we would have to keep getting fuel if it was a really big journey. And, well, I suppose that's where you could mess up. Letting the escort vehicles know what to do and all that. Yeah, really nice weather. I'm hoping to do a screenshot at some point for the thumbnail. Thumbnails for this game seem extremely hard, very difficult. Um, and I should think it's even harder for the Special Transport DLC. Because you just want to get the best shot possible and... Well, usually I take about five different screenshots because I'm never happy with them. I think the one I, I like the most is the one I did a few days ago. But usually I really hate my thumbnails. Um, the one which I did at the container port, that in my opinion was quite good. But for ETS2, I'm, I'm really not good at doing the, uh, the different screenshots for the thumbnails. But um, yeah, I'll try my best today and see how we go. I love how the uh, escort vehicle goes into the middle of the road to warn the traffic. This is going to be fun. We have like a loop the loop. <laughs> not quite, but it's not nice. Let's see how we do. First bit's not too bad. Although we are cutting in a bit there. And then, yeah, I think we're just basically going over the road and then going under the road. Could be fairly tight. And there is a bus coming. It might be waiting for us. Well, they've stopped the traffic, which is good. Trailer damage? What did I hit? Oh, I've taken the sign out. Unbelievable. Actually, it isn't really unbelievable at all. There is screenshot number one. I might not use it, but if I do, then there it is. Uh, the problem is the rain, actually. It's leaving, like, streaks of... Well, it's just putting lines on the photo. Which is... Yeah, not, not the best, really. So we will continue. I am disappointed with the 1% damage though, that, that could have been avoided. Still, it could have been a car, it could have been 10% damage on the trailer. It's not all bad, but yeah, it's just a uh, yeah, problem with your pride I suppose. When you know you've hit something. Much worse in real life though. Really is a dark day. Anyway, on the plus side, we have done about 100 kilometers, I think. Don't know how many it was exactly, but yeah, about 100. Still 285 to go. If we can get onto an open dual carriageway or something, then, well, this would just be like a breeze. Problem is we've had to keep coming off. We're probably going the back way, actually try and avoid... yes, I think we are. Yes, we are totally avoiding uh, main roads by the look of it. Keeping out of the way. And now we are getting into a town. Is it actually pronounced Valet? I don't know. Very wet here, though. Try not to take down any more signs because that is not good. Otherwise, the local council will be uh, having a big bill. Probably being forwarded on to our company, and that is not good at all. Oh, that is so annoying.
Um, yeah. It's a good job this game saves frequently. I can see why they do. Thank you for autosave. I, I don't like to say that we've had to load, but I'm afraid we're going to have to. That was 6%. That would have been extremely costly. I didn't even notice it, actually. That's probably a sign that I really should never be a heavy cargo uh, lorry driver. Which one was it? I think it's possibly because there was another lorry on the other side of the road and it sort of distracted me, but I was also uh, trying to think of stuff to say. That one there. So how close am I? Yeah, I can see why I hit it. They are close. It's very cleverly done, this DLC. And because they've added the extra auto saves, you can see that they are expecting you to crash. You must be a very skilled driver to do it without crashing. But in real life, one crash is one crash too many. Oh, the rain is stopping. Brilliant. Right, well, let's just keep going. Hopefully, there's no more problems at the moment. Let's hope there's no more problems at all, but I don't know. It seems easy to do. There are quite a few different cargoes you can do. There is actually just a bucket for an excavator, but I think it's possible. I haven't really looked at it, but it's probably so wide because it's from these absolutely gigantic excavators. Getting lighter. Keep my headlights turned off, I think. Um, but yeah, one of the really good things about doing these loads is they are so well paid. Really, really good. I'm just watching that trailer along that crash barrier there. Not so concerned about the other traffic, because we're quite a long way off that, but yeah. From these barriers, pretty close. We really are close. Looks like we're turning right at the end of here. They must have had an awful lot of police cars assigned to this job. Here we are. Okay, we did that in one piece, that's good to see. And we'll just check up ahead. In fact, it's single player, so I can't show up in the map. Yeah, it's um it's fairly simple actually. It's not too bad. Obviously we've done the worst piece there. So yeah, just keep going and uh hope for the best. It's getting tighter again. Gotta watch that lorry. It's when they're stationary at traffic lights, it does seem to be the worst time, especially if you're turning. Busy sitting on cruise control, it's doing a good job, certainly takes the pressure off. Not quite sure why the escort is going so slow, we can do 60. I haven't really seen the Escort behind us. I don't even know if it's still there. You would have thought it would be. Um, I thought it said something about looking at them on the minimap, but I can't see the Escorts on there. But it doesn't really matter because we're not going to be going far from them. If we did, I think we'd probably fail anyway. I don't think you can uh, deviate from the course. Oh, getting tighter again. Buildings and stuff. It's probably more psychological though, about um, thinking that you're more likely going to crash here. Because really, we're nowhere near the buildings. They are a pavement width away, and a bit more. It is a skilled job, though. It really is, for those who do it in real life. Very impressive. Anyway, almost 150 kilometres left. I'm hoping that the worst part is out of the way. But definitely... I'd love to do this in Italy, so we can continue the Italia 
series, but at the same time do this. I'm actually looking to buy a new lorry anyway in that series. We're going to get rid of the DAF and I'm, I'm hoping to get the Scania. really do want to get the Scania, ideally. But it's not always easy to be able to afford what you want. Hmm, sounds familiar. Sounds like real life. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many things you want, but you just can't get it. Because, uh, well, it would be a dream world. But no, in the game I would love to have a Scania. The the new Scania. Is it a Scania S or something, the new one? Which has been put into the game. I haven't really looked into that so much. I've been looking at the uh, Italia DLC and uh, obviously the Special Transport DLC. I'm pretty sure it was added in the most recent update. Fuel station here. But luckily we don't need it and we won't need to have it because we we've got the company lorry and it's full to the top. If we can get it finished before dark as well, that would be uh, very useful. But we'll keep plodding on and uh, I'll update you very soon. Probably about 75 miles to go. Now red lights should not apply, as we've seen. Indicating does. Now there is a signpost there. That one there I'm very wary of. Seem to have got away with it. Ooh, the deep dark forest. Ah, I can see the escort vehicle now in the mirror. It's good to see it's still with us. Level crossing here. It might be a bit bumpy. Hmm, fairly smooth. I know what it is, you know. I know exactly what we're avoiding here. Toll booths. I don't think it fits through it. It does not fit through toll booths. I always thought the toll booths did have one lane which allowed extra large cargo to go through. I don't know if that is the case in uh, Europe. I always thought they did do, though. But no, I'm not complaining. I don't want to be going through toll booths anyway. Expensive stuff. But yeah, that's what they're doing. They're taking us on the back road. Which is why it's taking much longer. I I must have been a hair's width off that sign back there. If you just go back about ten, five to ten seconds in the video, you'll be able to see that again. One thing we yet to think of is how you reverse this thing at the end. Do you have to reverse it into a space or can you just drive straight forwards? I, I really don't know. Um, to be honest, I haven't really been following the blog post for it. It's a very good place to be though, the SCS blog. Um, if you ever do want to find out any information about the uh, ETS2 stuff, that is the place to be. And we're definitely going left here. And going all the way around the roundabout is where I take signs out. So let's see how we do. I might go into third person actually. Don't worry. There's a car. Going, it's a police car. Thank you, police car, for going right up behind. Okay. 
We did it in one piece. 26 kilometers to go. Back through the forest, it would appear. I think our keeps is a continuous recording. I won't stop again, uh, as it isn't very far. But I should think the trickiest part is yet to come, and that will be getting into the yard and parking. I don't even know where we're going. I didn't really look at that. Hmm, might not be too hard. Hmm, it's heavy pulling up here. The home straight, 15 kilometers. I'm surprised that is 15 actually. If you look at the minimap, you can see how close we actually are. The kilometers really do fly in ETS2. But they would have to, because otherwise it would take the same amount of time in game as in real life to get to a, a certain place. Uh, which I suppose would make it very interesting, but yeah, I think it would probably get boring fast. Power station. Must be where we're going to with this heat exchanger. Nucleon. Nuclear power station. Right, well, here we are. What do we have to do? Just drive it straight forward? Oh, cracky, just stopped right in front of me. Uh, <laughs> that was probably an overreaction. Um, yeah, I think we just drive straight into here. Yeah, I don't really know why you'd skip the parking. It seems fairly straightforward. They've parked up. Okay. We're done. Good work. There was a 1% damage there, I think. 1% exactly. 611 euros lost. And a bit of reputation lost as well. But look at that. Absolutely amazing. And we managed to get another 14,207 euros to go towards our next lorry, which I'm hoping, as I said, is going to be a Scania. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, and I will be back very soon with more special transport DLC and Italia DLC. Stay tuned. See you again soon. Bye for now.